What's going on, DMG Clan? Today, I'm gonna get rid of, or show you how to get rid of, the hack on your Nintendo 3DS. And yes, the same method goes for the Nintendo 2DS XL, 3DS XL, and any other 3DS variant, so as long as you have your backup of your NAND. So let's level up our hacking knowledge just a bit more before the end of 2024. <laughs> That is right, mobile gamers. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to unhack or remove your hack for your Nintendo 3DS. Now, why would you want this? Well, maybe there's something that's bugging out on your system or something, and you want to just go back to stock firmware. In my case, I'm doing this because I want to rehack this with the latest version and share a guide on how to rehack your Nintendo 3DS, and I want to use it for something else that I'm going to be sharing very soon. Now, very important tip what i like to do is actually factory reset the device and do all that first they do actually inform you what to do on the 3ds hacks website if you want to actually go forth and do that now you don't really need to do that but if you want to you can now there's god mode 9 usage facts here creating nan backups restoring your nan backups and all that kind of stuff it actually tells you what you can do so power off your console insert your sd card into your computer and basically that's what we're going to be following here today now sometimes people don't like written guides so that's why i like to do visual guides of all these kind of things so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today is removing this hack and there's one big reason why i want to do this because i am testing stuff and i want to rehack this and share the process of hacking this again so power off your device like they say and insert your micro SD card however you can into your computer. So I'm going to insert mine into my little dongle. I have a little USB adapter that is going to be inserted in there. Now on my computer, you can see my God Mode 9 folder right here. You're going to go into that and then you're going to go into the out folder. Now I backed up my NAND into my computer. So 3DS hacking files is where I put my NAND, my NAND backups, and my blue 3DS, which is right here. You're going to copy these files. Now, these files are pretty big, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're copying these over to your out folder. Depending on how fast your SD card reader is and everything else, you should subscribe. Don't forget about the Odin 2 giveaways that I am hosting right now on the channel at certain progressions of the channel. Very soon, we will be... Well, I will be giving out another Odin 2 to one of you guys. The Odin 2 is literally the god of all Android handhelds as of 2024. And I mean that I did a video about this and as to why it is a really powerful Android device. And I highly recommend you to get one if you don't want to wait for the giveaway. Again, 15,000 subscriber giveaway coming soon. So now that you copied over your files to your out folder, you're just going to basically follow the steps and unplug this from your computer plug your micro sd card into your adapter or your sd card depending on how you have this set up and then you're going to hold down the start button and the power button now i've done this before and i'm just sharing how to do it now god mode 9 should open up if it doesn't then just try to redo it again all right so hold the start button and press power and there we go there's god mode 9 now i wasn't pressing the pad the start button probably because the start button's like right here and it's in a weird spot. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to try to focus in on this so you can actually see up close what we're doing on the screen. Okay, so it's going to say press the home button, go down to scripts, go to mega script, go all the way down to restore option, and then do a sysnan restore save. Now you're going to select your NAND, which is your bin right here, and then click yes again. And then it's going to have a red screen. Now don't be scared of that red screen. I know it's very hard to see and it's gonna ask you to proceed by pressing certain combinations. So not really sure if you can see that. It's very, very dim. I'm gonna press right down, up, right down, right A, and now it's gonna do its thing. Now this does take some time depending on how much data is already on your device. And it says about six minutes total. So I'm not gonna let you sit here waiting for six minutes. I'm gonna actually fast forward through this part. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, you are going to press A to continue as long as it says it's successfully restored to the SysNAN. And then you're going to press B, press B again, and then you're going to relock these permissions and press A, and you're going to press the home button for the home menu. Now, what you're going to do is just reboot the system. Now you can see that the hack is actually still there and all the homebrew apps and everything are still there. So we got to press the power button, press power off, press start, 
press the power button again press the home button go down to scripts god mode 9 scripts hacks options and uninstall hacks press a for yes and let it do its thing this is locked unlock it now now follow the prompts it's going to tell you the button combination again and now custom firmware has been uninstalled successfully press b press a now press the start button and it'll reboot the console now as you can see the co the software can't be launched because the hack is not there now a very important tip is to go back into your settings go over to your other settings go all the way over and format system memory click next click format click format again and let it do its thing format has been completed press ok and there we go we have successfully unhacked our 3ds console follow the prompts to actually get through the menu and we now have a fully unhacked 3ds again this method only works if you backed up your nand when you were doing the hacking process at the beginning it doesn't work if you didn't do this there's a different method for that and if you forgot to back up your nand then follow that method on their website as well now i'm going to do a system update and i'm going to accept all the terms and everything and connecting to the internet because i want to put my 3ds console at the latest firmware which is 11.17.50.u now go to your settings double check if it's updated to the latest firmware maybe it already is because you were on the latest firmware when you did your hack but mine wasn't it was at 11.16 and as of today, it is now at 11.17.0.5U. So don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful. Don't forget to check out my other videos on the channel about hacking your 3DS or anything to do with hacking your 3DS or other devices like the Nintendo Switch, of course. Have a nice day. See you next time, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye!